Hey everybody, how you doing? This is uh, Professor Alvarez again here. Um, just got the great news that the, uh, the TXMMA awards came out and uh, the Alvarez BJJ here in Arlington, Texas uh, brought home the Academy of the Year uh, slash Coach of the Year for 2013. Uh, man, very honored and, and, and gracious for that with all the uh, great academies and coaches you know, in the state of Texas, throughout the state of Texas, so many great, um, just so many great, just too many to list to name off. Uh, so to be considered in that category and then bring home the, the, the honors for 2013 is really just something, um, you know, I think it's the second year in a row uh, for something like that. I think Coach of the Year um, for was uh, 11, 12, and now 2013. So three years in a row for that as well. So um, put a lot of hard work. Um, the whole team did the whole academy from the parents to the to the four five year olds that we have on up. Um, so we just want to give a big shout out and thank you to TXMMA, uh, their staff, um, all the hard work that they do, and they put forth to gather all the stats and do all the things that they do throughout the year. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of work and uh, it's tedious stuff. So um, big ups and big appreciation um, for the entire staff for TXMMA. Um, so we just want to give thanks for everybody. I just kind of wanted to uh, give you guys a, a inside look at the academy and, and stuff like that and not just give a, a, a statement on paper. And so what I'm going to do is kind of just give you a tour around the academy real quick. So just follow me inside. We'll, we'll do that. Come on in. Here, walk in. We got a little lobby here. Got my IBJJF certificates here for my first degree, waiting on the second degree uh, to come in. Um, you're walking this way, kind of like a little wall of fame, you know. You've got some some of the pictures and stuff from, from last year, Miami Open. Uh, that, that was the adult one I got for for uh, in 2010. But, uh, you know, little, little medals here, these are mine. Obviously, back in the early part of 2000, there wasn't that many... Um, tournaments like there is today, so there's really not much to, to show there. But whatever would they, that was in this area, I, I did it. You know, uh, you come in this way, this my stuff here. Um, here's um, you know all my major championships from from 2012, and the one I got was I feel like is the biggest one for me is was the 2000 Rome. Um, here's all my tournaments from uh, 2013. Um, that I did this year, traveled a lot, had back-to-back -back tournaments in a lot of the, a lot of the weekends there, flying from this city to that city, um, did New York twice and Vegas twice, won both of those, and then, you know, um, Miami, Tokyo, and then no Nogi Worlds were all three consecutive weekends, which was, by the time we got to Nogi Worlds, we didn't even know really what time it was, it was different time zones in the weekend, so, um, just a little stuff here. My Nogi World Championships got three years in a row, um, 2011, 2012, and then now 2013. So um, good stuff there. Um, we had uh, 2013 uh, Jessica Crane um, got the uh, Pan Am Kids in the orange belt last year. And then Mr. Lee Crosley um, had a couple fights and then brought home the kids. So, so we had two kids, uh, Pan Am champions last year and the kids. So that was great. Um, you come in here, here's our academy. Um, you know, you come in right here, we have a little more wall of fame here. Uh, the Vegas Summer Open, we had a great weekend uh, that weekend. Um, and just about everybody took gold or placed. Um, that, was a, that, was a, that was a great, great day there. We did, we did an awesome job there. Um, Nogi World Champion, Mr. Sean Coughlin. Mr. Crosby had uh, five fights, submitted all his opponents. We gave him his purple belt this past, uh, or last year, um, Master Senior Worlds. Um, we had four uh, Nogi World um, uh, champions in uh, 2013. Uh, the Tokyo Open, um, Mr. Jordan, Miss Miriam Danielle all took gold, and me and Natalia took silver. So we had five competitors go to Tokyo, and everyone placed and then had three gold medalists, so that was that was awesome. Uh, Danielle here, their gold medal. Mr. Vin here. Uh, we had uh, Mr. Joe Gonzalez take uh, first in the Nogi um, Rome Open there, 
And then over here, you'll see we had five Pan Am champs in 2000. Um, well, this is actually 2012. We got the other ones over there, 2013. So, but um, we've got weight, weight area here, workout. We got, um, you know, got a couple pull up stations, Olympic weight stations, got some battle ropes, power lifting mat here, you know, tired of the got some kettlebells, um, treadmills, stuff like that. And uh, here's our here's our mat space. It's four, a little over 4,000 square feet, um, so a lot of room. I wanted the best for my students and, and, uh, and, and give them the best mats and the best area to come and train. And so I worked really hard for that. So I think it was last year um, I went ahead and expanded wall to wall and gave them every you know went wall to wall with the mats. So uh, over here for 2013. Um, this is where the, the academy took home the team championships. So in the beginning of the year, uh, new breed, we won the uh, the new breed um, uh, kids team champions. We won the adult team champions, uh, the Dallas new breed. Um, Naga, um, the the adults took first place, and then they took in the gi, and then third no gi, and then the kids the following day uh, took first place again which was their ninth consecutive team championship at Naga in the, in the Metroplex, in the Dallas, the Dallas Naga. Uh, then we had Fight to Win, the World Grappling Circuit, uh, Torque Open. We took first place there. A lot of great teams, you know, coaches, competitors. Um, DFW, Matt Shark, they came up here for the first time, I think. Uh, we took first place overall on the team there. Um, then we had the Europa Super Show, Fight to Win, WGC. Uh, first place team champions, again, a lot of great teams, a lot of great coaches come from all over Texas and surrounding areas. Um, that was the third year in a row we actually won the, the Europa Super Show. We brought home uh, $1,000 cash uh, for that. So what we did there was uh, we took, the, took the, 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 pro, the earnings that we got there and then had a nice big barbecue and treated all the kids to the water park just right around the corner from here. So that was a great time. We got the mats, rolled them out, trained in the park outside. It was, it was a great day. Uh, BJ Classic submission only tournament. Um, second place there for the, for the adults. I was pretty happy about that one. Then we had the Dallas New Breed again. Uh, first place again for the youth, uh, for the kids team. And then for the adults, um, second place there. And then we just got the final results and we're waiting for the banner to show up. Um, the Dallas um, Naga Worlds Tournament, which was uh, December 14th and 15th or something like that. Um, first place for the kids out of 110 teams. Um, the kids took first place and their 10th consecutive uh, Naga Dallas the Dallas Championship, and they've won first place ever since September 18th, 2010. So for the past little over three years, they consistently won every tournament for Naga that, that has come this way. So very proud of all the kids and the, and the parents uh, and their dedication to the, to the team and stuff like that. So um, you just kind of come this way here. Again, big, big match face. Um, got all the team trophies here. So all the banners that are up on the wall, and on the ceiling, uh, we have all the team trophies here to see, that go along with the, uh, the the championships that we won there. So, you know, this is everything. These are the all the fight to win trophies there. They always got great trophies, man. They they go hard with the with their team trophies. I really like their team trophies. They they bring home the big good ones. So big shout out to Mr. Seth Daniels and Chris Boyd Boyce on that one. Um, so these are all the stuff, all the hard work, you know, the fruits of our labor from here. And then here's our banner, you know, together everyone achieves more. That's what a team is, and this is what we've accomplished as a team there. So great stuff there. Uh, real quick, um, the, the the banners again, you know, we got uh, last year, Miriam Villar and Miss Natalia um, split the, the, the Master Senior Worlds first and second place. Yeah, Mr. Crawley took first at, at Worlds, Sean Coughlin, Nogi World Champion, Mr. Vin, Nogi World Champion, and then we had uh, Ms. Miriam took first place at Pan Ams 2013, Natalia, Jordan, Vin, 
Mr. Justin, 2013 Pan Am champ. So those are all our champs, 2013. And then uh, Mr. Neil Nogi, world champion here. I won the Rome Open Nogi and, uh, and the, the Gi Championship. And then um, Mr. Gonzalez there. Now we won a lot more of the American Nationals and stuff like that. And I just, you know, I didn't have my good camera with me that day to take all those pictures. So what I like to do is, is you know, honor my students for all their hard work that they've done and put their stuff up on the wall because I feel like they deserve it. So I do that. So then there's all the other stuff that we've won throughout the you know last five years that we've been we've been open. So if you just come down here a little bit, um, Mr. Jordan and Natalia won Nogi or won the world championships last year together. Pretty special. Pan Am champ, uh, 2012. Black belt world champion, 2012. Champion 2012, 2011. There's the 2011 Coach of the Year for TX MMA. Uh, Danielle won Female Grappler of the Year um, 2011. Justin, 2011 King, King Grappler of the Year. There's the 2012 Coach of the Year and Academy of the Year that we won last year. Uh, won the Black Belt Competitor of the Year for TX MMA last year. Danielle won Blue Belt Competitor for 2012 and Mr. Cooper Cardinelli, 2012. So, um, you know, just a lot of hard work, and I just wanted to share with you guys the uh, our academy and just kind of get an inside look on all the stuff. And again, big thank you to, to TXMMA and um, and uh, all their hard work and everything, everything they've done. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time.